What is up YouTube? Frost the Hobbit in here and today we're gonna do another reaction video to another to another exciting episode of the death battle. And then today's death battle is going to be Fox McCloud versus Bucky O'Hare. I am I wow, I this is this is an old episode. Fox McCloud versus Bucky O'Hare. I have heard of Fox McCloud. Yes, I know I have played I have seen the gameplay. You've played the games. I even though I lost the game for a while, it is a classic old one. I I miss I kind of miss having that game, but hey, at least I can play them in Smash. And Bucky O'Hare, the first time I heard of Bucky O'Hare, I was in middle I was in elementary school. I was a little kid where a friend a friend of mine had a teacher who gave up who gave an episode tape of Bucky O'Hare and the team when when I was a kid, I, wow, the, 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 that that's been years. That's years. I'm an adult. I feel old. I feel so old. Anywho, let's let's. If you haven't seen this death battle, leave a uh, go check it out for yourself, and I'll leave a link to the description down below, and then come back and see my reaction. Anywho, I thought I'd just pass the time. Use this death battle. Got something fun to watch. Something fun to watch. A fox versus a rabbit. Mm -hmm. Who, who, my, I wonder who would win out of this. <laughs> uh, anywho, let's see, let's see what these characters are up to. In three, two, one, go. This episode of Death Battle is brought to you by Lumosity. Lumosity. Got it. All right. Classic Screw Attack Death Battle. This is a very old one. So let's get this over with. In the depths of space, who knows what awaits mankind? Probably some... Sucking aliens who need an introduction to my fist. Oh. But what if the final oh, wow. frontier was a little more furry? Fox McCloud, really? captain of the Star Fox Commandos. We already have a lot of furry O'Hare, haters captain out of there. Galactic wide rebellion. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons. Wait a minute, he had a video game? Find out who would win I didn't know that. I didn't know Bucky had a video game. It's about time you showed up, Fox. I'll do my best. In his youth, Fox was a pilot prodigy studying at the Cornarian Flight Academy. Right. He was raised by his single father, James, who founded a team of mercenaries known throughout the universe Rocking as the sunglasses. Star Fox. With Pigma, the ugliest pig you've ever seen, and Pigma, <laughs> a rabbit older than the greeters at Walmart. But it wasn't long before something went horribly wrong. Pigma betrayed him. The Lilat system had endured decades of peace, but rumblings of civil war stirred. The Empire of Planet Venom was rising with their new leader, Andros. A giant evil monkey with Rayman hands. Fearful kind of, of yeah. triggering a civil war, the Cornarian Republic secretly hired the Star Fox freelancers to investigate. But upon arrival, James was betrayed by Pigma, who was secretly in league with the monkey mogul. Which of is course. why pigs are for eating and nothing else. What? Outraged at the Cornarian government for refusing to respond, Fox McCloud abandoned the Academy. Under Peppy's wing, he formed a new Star Fox team alongside fellow dropouts Falco Lombardi and Slippy Toad. The result was a squad a lot of like fans hate Slippy Toad. Before. And I have to agree, I, he was annoying. A lot of background noises. But that's how the game was. Fox pilots in our wing, a nimble starfighter with a lot of power. His latest His game had bad reviews that week. Carry up to nine smart bombs, each of which can take out an entire squadron in just one shot. It also creates a reflector shield when Fox does a, well, you know. Do a barrel, barrel roll. roll. <laughs> yep. Actually, a barrel roll is when the plane spins in a helix path, as if wrapping around the outside of a barrel. Fox's trademark maneuver, in which he spins the fighter in place, is technically called an aileron roll. Can't let you do that, wizard. <laughs> what? Ruin the joke. Regardless, the R wings don't are ruin the joke. More advanced G diffusers. We know what it is. Really. Forces on pilots in flight. Even so, the ultra fast R wings exert enormous pressure. Exposure to intense G forces causes blood to drop from a pilot's brain to his feet. To okay. prevent this and thus fly their R wings to the best of their ability, the Star Fox team actually amputated their legs, replacing them with cybernetics. Holy shit, that's really? some hardcore dedication! So they have robot feet, I did not know that! When Fox isn't engaged in an aerial dog, er, 
box fight, he relies on his trusty blaster pistol, which he always carries. This little Very helpful in Smash. Over the years and can there it is. Up a super powerful shot. Fox also carries two portable G diffusers. One acts as an all purpose reflector, though he cannot move or attack while using it. Yes. The second is a booster pack for highly maneuverable flight. These G diffusers allow Fox to manipulate his own gravity to perform two superhuman fighting moves the speedy Fox illusion and the Very fire helpful. Fox. Fox helpful as well. To me, this is him going Kyle Ken, Ken to me. Dead, he's defeated Andros not once, but twice. He is absolutely fearless, though he often relies on his brainier wingmates to handle strategy and intel. Because when he comes up with a plan, he ends up falling into a black hole. Clever like a fox, my ass. Oh, wow. Regardless, he has proven himself more than capable of saving the day on his own time and time again. That he, he has. He's the leader of the second generation hey, Crystal. of Star Fox, the greatest commando team in the galaxy. His future and wife, Crystal. that alone Crystal. should prove one thing. You don't fuck around with Fox McCloud. <laughs> I see him up ahead. Let's rock and roll. I think I think Anna has a girlfriend. I think I, I'm not girlfriend. Anna's my girlfriend. Anna has a sister named Crystal. I know what you're thinking. Just who is Captain Bucky O'Hare? I know who he is. Well, prepare to be reminded or introduced to the greatest cartoon rabbit since Bugs Bunny. Really now? The classic theme song. I forgot about the theme song. Hope I didn't get demonetized for this. This is a nostalgia trip. <laughs> oh man. This is, a, this is so nostalgic. Oh, the 80s. Yeah, the 80s. I was even born in the 80s. I was not born in the 80s. I was born in the 90s. Motley crew defend the Anniverse. Yes, the Anniverse. From the evil That's what it's called. Who are basically amphibian Nazis. If Hitler was Nazis. Makes sense. I bet you want to watch the show now, huh? Do I have your undivided attention now? A very interesting villain. Lucky Captain's the best named spaceship of all time, the Righteous Indignation, which is now the new name. In case you're wondering, for all those furries out there, the rat, this tough the cat girls, the cat girl's name is Jenny. I know because I've seen the se I've seen the episode before. Was, let's get back to the rabbit. Bucky's no slouch on the ground. He always carries one automatic laser pistol, powerful enough to slice through solid metal. Very he helpful. Also brings along two energy grenades. When detonated, the resulting blast is massive. Bucky also wears a very reliable jetpack, which is fast enough to apparently outrace explosions. The velocity of a detonation can reach over 2,000 meters per second. This means in zero G, Bucky's jetpack can reach speeds over Mach 5 which would turn any normal rabbit into mush. But not this pocket fresh rabbit! And yes, that's a direct quote. Of but course. Will avoid a fight don't, 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 don't ever, don't ever do that, man. Opponents ...rather than resort to brute force. We've got some serious pondering to do. Nice However, voice. He's a skilled martial artist, I forgot what your voice sounds like. I thought it would be corny and over, over-the-top cartoony. Well over 100, 100 feet in the air with a, a lot of lag is gonna freeze this, so yeah. Bucky is responsible for constructing a massive galactic-wide army to combat the Toad Empire, and succeeded in dethroning their robotic ruler complex not once, but twice. Anyone nice. who dare to fight should beware the deadly Captain Bucky O'Hare. Attention all hands, battle stations, let's cross Toads! Alright. Now we know! Combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. Wi-Fi might crap up on me. It's time for a Luminosity advertisement! The advertise the uh the, the Wi-Fi might crap up on me, so hey. Extremely clever. Maybe they use Lumosity. Maybe Lumosity.com is a simple but effective. I'm gonna try and do my, to my best to edit it, the problems attention. out of this. Plus, it gives detailed feedback to help you improve. Over 40 million people already use Lumosity, including me. It helped me raise my IQ by 22%. What's that like? 33? 481.
Absolutely not. So engage your brain in a battle for intelligence at lumosity.com forward slash death battle. But right now, even it's time even Wiz calls battle. your bull crap. Just you're not 480. Your IQ is nowhere near 481. We're heading out. All aircraft report. Oh, this is how you set it up. This is Peppy. All systems go. Don't forget me. Flippy, what are you doing? Hurry up! <laughs> oh. Don't worry. Oh, that's how it's gonna go. All hands, battle stations. Huh? Flippy, watch out! Of course. Ah! Makes sense. Ah! Makes sense. Mission accomplished. Scratch one boat. There's one more to go. All right. Oh, that's so nostalgic. Come on. Four. All right, two D. All right. Nice shot. Oh, he's stopping on him. There we go. I'm gonna have to say Fox McCloud because I grew up knowing more about him than Bucky. I know who Bucky is. Ouch. Oh. Oh snap. He's grounded. Oh snap. Your robotic legs. Nice. Oh wow, this got dark real fast. That's that's one way to win, I guess. Calamity and woe. Calamity and woe indeed. Bucky's long-awaited spotlight didn't last long. Considering foxes eat hairs, I'm not surprised. That's true. Right. First off, yes, the R-Wing trumped the Righteous Indignation, as its weaponry, shielding, and maneuverability were simply outclassed. Yes. But not before Krogan the worst toad of all time. Ah! <laughs> I love this job. Bucky's ship is a tough old bird, so a fight to the A lot of people were happy Slippy is dead. Both Bucky and Fox had blow-by-blow -blow counters. Fox's reflector and Bucky's acrobatics could avoid laser fire. Fox is fearless, but Bucky is cunning. Fox is faster on land, but Bucky is faster in the air. The deciding factor Got it. was experience. Fox has been a major player in more wars than Bucky, oh. and single-handedly ended all of them at yes. his own request. I'll go it alone from here. Like a real man. Fox. Fox man. Also, Bucky always had a squad of troops at his back during ground combat. But when Star Fox does an away mission, Fox is usually all on his own. Even when fighting an entire planet of dinosaurs. That In is the true. End, Bucky choked. The winner is Oh Fox wow, Mikado. you're gonna end it with that joke. You're gonna end it with that joke, next really? Alright, what's what was the next time after this one? What was it? Wait a minute. Yep, I knew it. I think I did a reaction to this one. I have. Or YouTube might have deleting it. Hey, be sure to like and subscribe for all the brutal Fox on Rabbit action. Always. And click on that little moving picture thingy right there for more death battle content. Thanks for watching. Well, that was Fox McCloud versus Bucky O'Hare. Fox McCloud wins. Congratulations on Fox's victory over that. Like I said, it's been a while since I've seen that episode.
seen that series, Bucky, Captain Bucky O'Hare series. That's an eight. That's from the eighties. That's from the eighties. Wow. I saw that when I was in elementary school. When I was, I was probably a, a young kid. Man, it's been a long time. I'm surprised I even remember that series. But hey, this is a nice throwback. I'm. Thank you for the, the one who requested this for me to react to this de to this death battle. I want to thank you for that. I I appreciate it. A nice call back from, from that has been back jogging to my memories that I never dug back into my memories of an old series I haven't seen in a long, long time. Anywho, this was a fun, interesting death battle. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction video to it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on social medias. What will be your thoughts? If you have more requests, go to my Patreon or in the comments down below. If you want to check out my artwork on Patreon, please check it out for yourself and you can you guys see it. Support me, support certain tiers. I would really appreciate the help that you guys do. You guys are awesome. And make sure, make sure if you have an idea, share some artwork, fan art, have commissions. I'd be happy to draw some commissions for you guys. Go, go check it out. My Deviant Art has commissions open. My commissions are always open. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day. Be safe. And most importantly of all, stay frosty, my friends.